हेलो गाइस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सी व्हाट एफ वी विल डिज़ाइन दिस विल बी अ सिंपल टिक टैक टो गेम इन विच टू प्लेयर्स कैन प्ले लाइक दिस व्हेन वी टैप ऑन दिस इट विल शो लाइक दिस एंड Look here, X has won, so a, a red winning line has been drawn, and the player count of X has been increased, like this. When we press on the play again button, then this game will reset, and it also shows the, the hint of play. Uh, like now, it's showing player O turn. So let's. click on here and then here and here and here and here look now uh, why a uh, player o has won it a hint is showing and also this player count has increased let's play one more game this time we will try to draw the game so we can see the hint okay so now the game has been drawn so the hint is showing the game draw and also draw count has been in increased so this will be our tic tac toe game so we will design this game in two parts in the first part we will design the ui of this game and in the second part we will give the logic of this game like when we press on here then what will happen and how the players count will increase and how we can reset the game by pressing play again button how and how this hint text will change automatically after every press so the these all these logics we will give in the second video let's jump on to the android studio and create a new project so we will select this empty composed activity and press next i will name it tic tac toe tic tac toe and def by default kotlin language will be used and the i will use minimum api level 21 and let's create this it it takes some time in creating the project so let's wait so now the project has been created so first i will go into this build script file and build and build dot gradle and i will ch change the compose version to 1.2.0 because this is the latest stable version and kotlin version 1.7.0 and one more thing i have to do here i will paste one more dependency of for view model in the in compose so you can you can copy this dependency from the videos description and let's sync this gradle okay so now our gradle has been synced so i will close these two files and in this main activity file there is some codes which have come with with the new project so what i will do i will delete the this code this code like this and one more thing what we have to do before starting coding is in this ui package there is a theme package in this theme package there is a file called color.kt in this color file in this color file i will paste some more colors these four colors so 
where from where you can get these colors there is a there is a link to the github of this source code where you can go and in that color file you can copy and paste these colors here or you can do is pause the video and type these colors values so in this in this game screen we will use these four colors so for now let's close this file and create a new file for I will name it game screen. And let's create a composite function for game screen. So what we will do in this game screen file, we will keep all the codes related to the screen game screen to this in this file. So let's first see the screen which we have to design. So this is the game screen which we have to design. In this is game is before starting this. Let's see the different layouts in Jetpack Compose. So there is a layout for called column. In this column layout, the, the child of this layout are up above and below like this you can see in this picture this child is above and second child is below of this and other child is again below of this like this and in the row layout the childs are besides one another side by side like this and there is third lay layout called box in this box layout, we can define the child of this box layout like top center or bottom center or top left, bottom left, top right, bottom left or simply center of this box. With the help of content alignment, there is a parameter called content alignment in this box layout. So we uh, there we can define this. So these are the layouts which is used in jetpack compose so first let's see the screen so this is the screen we have to design in this screen we can see there is a big column layout in which there are four child of this column layout first one is row in this row we can in this row we can define these players count and draw count like this in this and the other child is text in this text child uh, we will write the title of this game tic tac toe and there is one more child box in this box layout we will keep this board of that tic tac toe game and there is one last child in that last child it will be a row so in that row we will keep our text hint text and the play again button like this so let's go to the android studio and So this will be our parent layout. In this column layout, we have passed these parameters. So let's discuss these parameters one by one. So the first one is this fill max size. What it will do, it will keep the, it will take the whole size of the phone screen because different phone screen, screens have different phones is 
different phone have different screen size so it will take full screen size and i have used the background color gray background this is the same color which i pasted in that color file and i will give also pad horizontally a padding of 30 dp so from both side right left right or left side right and left side it will give some spacing of 30 dp and the, what this horizontal alignment will do it will keep all the child of this column horizontal center and this is vertical arrangement i will i have kept it space evenly so let's see if what this space evenly will do we can see there is there is same gap between every child and also from start in the starting and in the end there is a same gap between all this so with the help of this space evenly so it will take the same space between all the childs so let's create a preview function so we can see the preview simultaneously it needs build and refresh so let's click on this let's take a row In this row, we will take the full width, fill max width. So what it will do, it will, whatever will be the width of the phone's screen, so it will take the whole width. And, and how it will arrange the child of these, this row layout, space between, what this space between is this space between doesn't give space before the first child and after the last child so what it will do it will give the equal space between the childs we can also see the text documentation text here so and vertically the child will be center so let's take the text of those count so the other so this will be the text for the hint the other two text will also be similar so what i will do i will press ctrl d so it will duplicate these lines i will name the, this draw and this player x and let's see the preview of this row so in this preview we can see this row has been placed in the center of the column layout so why this row is in the center because because we have assigned this space evenly so what it has did is given it has given the same space before this and after this when we when we put other childs in this so it will automatically set so let's create 
टेक्स्ट कंपोजेबल फॉर टाइटल so in this title i will use the font size to 50 sp and i will keep it to bold and cursive and i will use the color blue custom which we pasted in the color file so now let's see the preview so now it is looking good and you as you can see it is rearranging the child of this column layout echo space evenly like it is giving space evenly and now we will create a box for the board so first let's see the preview of this and then we will discuss these parameters one by one so now this box has been drawn perfectly so what what let's see these parameters this fill max width what it will do it will it will take the fill uh, it will take the maximum width of this phones screen and the second parameter is aspect ratio i have given the value 1f because i i want this box to be of square shape so whatever be, be the whatever be the width i want the same height so this aspect ratio will keep the width and height of same same size and this shadow will as we can see in the box there is some shadow so with the help of this shadow i have given this elevation 10 dp and i have because this box will be of rounded corner shape so the shadow will also be of rounded corner shape with the help of this clip we can round our corner of the boxes and background we simply given the gray background and so this content alignment what it will do it will it will keep the child of this box layout to center we will draw the child of this box later so first let's create the last child of this column so there this will be a row in that row we will keep our hint text and the that play again button so in this row we can see i have used the fill max width again same i need to use the maximum width and vertically the child of this row will be center and horizontally they will be arrange space between S similar to the first child of that co player count this row will also keep the child's to the left and right side and take the maximum and keep the space in between of those child so first child will be the text or hint text
so in this uh, hint <coughs> so in this hint text i will we will use the size 24 sp and we will keep these text italic so first let's see the preview of this text so this text is been placed perfectly so now let's create a button so for this button i will keep the corner rounded with the help of this shape we can give the rounded corner shape to fit and we need also some shadow so with the help of this elevation we can give the shadow and with the help of this color parameter we can assign the color of the background of the button and content of that button so let's we need to use the text play again font size 16 sp okay so now let's see the preview of this so as we can see our main is game screen has been designed perfectly so now we need one more thing we need the base of that tic tac toe board so what this base is let's see so this is the base the, uh, these four lines this will be the our base so how how we can design these four lines with the help of canvas we can design so let's design these for that we will create a new file i will name it component let's create a composable function board base also let's also create preview function and open this split mode with the help of canvas we can draw those four lines so let's create a canvas so i will keep the size of the canvas 300 dp and what this padding will do it will give some space between the canvas and those lines and this on draw parameter we will use in this parenthesis so let's draw those four lines one by one so for drawing the lines there is a function called draw line in which we will use the color gray and stroke width 5f width of that width of that line and cap round what this round will do is a round shape in the start and in the end of that line first we need to draw this line and we have to give the starting point starting point we can say it is 100 at the x axis value is 100 and the y axis value is 0 so, so we can pass this these values into that starting point and for the end point the x axis 
will be the same and the y axis value will be the height of that canvas so let's pass those two values start So first let's say uh, why I, ha I have decided to write this value instead of 100 uh, simply giving 100 I have decided because I need to because I need to give th these values dynamic dynamically like whatever will be the canvas size so it will how it will calculate it will take the width and divide it to 3 so like this it can take it, like this it can take the x axis value similarly uh, here I have used the size dot height so whatever will be the height of the, that canvas it will take the y value so the so let's see the preview of this line so our line has been drawn it's looking good so the other line will be of similarly so i what i will do i will copy this and paste only what we need to change this starting value and the end value of that point so what will be the starting value and end value of that other line we have to draw this line this time we can see this line simply we can take the x value x axis value by multiplying it to 2 by 3 so how it will be calculated so it will take the width of that canvas in this in our example it is 300 so first it will divide it to 300 and multiply it to 2 200 so x in this way we can calculate the x axis value x axis value of the starting point and the end point will be same and y y axis value for the starting point it will be 0 f and for the end point it will be size dot height whatever will be the height of that canvas so let's put these values into that second line and let's see the preview so this second line is also looking good so let's copy this and again paste this time we need to design this line so we again we have to provide the x axis and y axis of the starting and end point for starting point the x axis is 0 and for the end point the x axis value is size dot width whatever will be the width of canvas and like we calculated the x axis value of that vertical line in this way similar in the similar way we can calculate the y value first for the first line we need to multiply it to 1 upon 3 and for the starting point and the end point the value of y value y axis will be same and for the second line we need to multiply it to 2 by 3 so it will take the value of this so let's create these two lines
so let's preview this line okay so again i will copy this and paste here only what i need to change is this value now let's see preview as we can see our board base has been built fully so we can pass this board base into that box in the game screen i think i have forget to put the n so i will press shift f shift f6 and i will rename it to this game screen refactor okay so in the game screen file we can put the that board base here in this box now let's see the preview so our game screen has been built fully but apart from this game screen we need some more components like that circle and that cross and the, those winning lines so we will design those things in that component file one by one so first we will design that cross cross for that cross also we we will be needing a canvas we will use this on draw in that parenthesis so the size of that this canvas will be 60 dp and i will give some padding like 5 dp so let's draw those two lines that cross we can draw with the help of two lines draw line to draw this line again we need to provide the starting value and the end value so the starting value of this line will be of the top left so what what will be the value of top left x x is value will be 0f and y value will also be 0f and the end value the end point of this line will be bottom right so bottom right value will be size dot height size dot width x value and y value size dot width size dot height so let's see the preview in this preview function cross let's see the preview we can see it's drawn perfectly so we for that other line we just need to copy this and paste here we need to change this starting point and the end point the starting point will be bottom left so bottom left value x value will be 0f and y value will be size dot height height and end point will be in the top right so x value size dot width y value 0f so now let's see the preview so our cross has been designed perfectly now we need to design the circle so again for again for that circle we will create a composable circle 
let's take the canvas in this canvas like there is a draw line there is a function function draw circle so in this circle we will provide the color aqua which we pasted in that color file and style we need only the outline so i will use the stroke width 20f so now let's see the preview of this circle circle so our circle is also has been designed perfectly so now the last thing we need to design is the those winning lines so first let's see in the picture form there will be eight possibility of winning this trick tag to so we will design eight different types of lines so first we will design these horizontal lines first start with this line let's create a composable function win horizontal line 1 canvas modifier dot size 300 dot dp in this canvas in this canvas with the help of draw line we will design that line color red stroke width 10f cap round again we need to provide the value of starting value and the end value of the the point of this line so first let's see how we will calculate in this first line we can see the starting value of x axis will be 0f and the end value will will be size dot width and y how how we will calculate the y axis value simply we can what we can do we can divide this canvas height into six part and multiply it to 1 for this first line and the y value will be same for the starting point and for the end point so let's put these value so now let's see the preview of this let's delete this and win what horizontal line 1 let's see the preview we can see our first horizontal line is drawn perfectly so now uh, the other line will be of same so just copy this and paste here i let's rename this it to vertical line 2 all the parameters all the parameters of this line will be same only we need to change the starting point and end point of this line so is starting let's see those point for this line we can see the x axis value of starting and end point will be same 
only the y axis value will be changed like in this in this we can see it's on the 150 points on y axis so how we can calculate this value simply by multiplying the height of this canvas to 3 is to 6 3 upon 6 we can calculate this value and the starting value of y axis and end value of y axis will be same so let's put these two values now let's see the preview when horizontal line to preview okay second line is also looking good for that third line again copy this and rename it to 3 and again x axis will be same only this y value will be changed this time we can multiply it to 5 upon 6 so we can calculate let's preview this also when horizontal line 3 this line is also drawn perfectly in the similar way we can design these three vertical lines for the starting point starting point and the end point the y value will be 0 x 0 and size dot height we can provide for that x value x axis value we can calculate like this in the similar way like we calculated the y axis value of that horizontal line like we can multiply it to 1 by 6 in that way we can calculate this x axis value of this line so let's put these lines these values let's change this name to win vertical line 1 and size dot width multiply by 1 by f 1 by 6 and the end value will also be same so let's multiply it to 1 by 6 this y value will be 0 f and for the end point it will be size dot height now pass this here and see the preview win vertical line 1 look now our this line is also drawn very good so let, let's just copy this line and paste here and rename it to vertical line 2 and again we uh, we need to change these starting and end va end va value of this line for this second line we can see the y value for that starting point will be 0 f and the is for that is end point it will be size dot height and x axis value we can calculate similarly we can multiply it to 2 into 2 by f 2 by 6 so let's put these values here sorry i we need to multiply it to two, 3 by 6 like this let's pass this here win vertical line 2 and let's see the preview okay so second line is also looking good let's copy this and paste here for that third line let's rename it to vertical line 3 
and x axis value we can calculate in the similar way we can multiply it to 5 by 6 and y value will be of same so let's pass this win vertical line 3 and let's see the preview okay this line is also drawn good so now we need to only draw two more lines two more th those diagonal lines so we can just copy here this and paste here let's rename it to win diagonal line one all the perimeter perimeters will be same only we need to provide the starting point and the end point the starting point will be in the, on the top left so the x axis value will be 0f and y value will also be 0f and this end point of this line will be bottom right so we can simply calculate it by giving the x axis value to size dot width and y value to size dot height let's see the preview of this line win diagonal line 1 in the similar way we can draw this second diagonal line let's rename it to draw win diagonal line 2 the starting point of this diagonal line will be bottom right the x axis will x axis value will be size dot height x axis value will be 0 f and y value will be size dot width size dot height and the end point will be top right so the x axis will be size dot width y axis will be 0 f now let's pre let's check the preview of this line draw diagonal line 2 we can see uh, uh, we can see the other diagonal line is also looking good so we have designed all the components and the this game is screen of this and in the second video we will give the logic of this game like when we click on the board what will happen when we click on the play button what will happen so that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.